Hello students, welcome to the video class on Thermal Engineering Lab by the Department of Mechanical Engineering, TKM College of Engineering. Today, we will study how to conduct the experiment to determine the heat transfer coefficient of air at the inner surface of a tube and to compare it with the theoretical value. Apparatus and experimental setup. The apparatus consists of an air blower, exit of which is connected to a pipe of 30 mm diameter. The pipe system consists of a valve which is used to regulate the flow rate of air through it and an orifice meter to find the flow rate. The orifice meter is in turn connected to a YouTube water manometer. Nichrome heating wire is wound over mica sheet on the test section. The heating circuit consists of a voltmeter, ammeter and a dimmerstat. Four thermocouples T2, T3, T4 and T5 are fitted on the pipe surface at the test section. The two thermocouples T1 and T6 are inserted into the pipe at the inlet and exit of the test section to indicate inlet and outlet temperatures of flowing air. Specifications. These are the specifications of the experimental setup. J-type thermocouples are used and the diameter and length of the test session are 3 cm and 50 cm respectively. Procedure. Switch on the experiment setup. Ensure that the dimmer stat is in zero position. Switch on the heater. Adjust the dimmer stat to the desired voltage. Here we set the voltmeter reading as 150 volt. Switch on the air blower, keeping the delivery valve in closed position. Open the delivery valve slightly to ensure the air to flow through the pipe by observing the manometer reading. Note the initial readings of all thermocouples through the temperature indicator. Write these initial values in the tabular column. Repeat the recording of reading of all thermocouples at regular intervals until steady state is reached. Tabulate all the readings. These steady state values are used to calculate the convective heat transfer coefficient of force convection. After completing the experiment, close the delivery valve of the blower. Then switch off the blower. Set the dimmer stack to zero position and switch off the power supply. Thank you.